Tell everybody to go check out War Performance. Go you gotta, you gotta come on here. Yeah. Go check out War Performance. War Performance. War Performance. There you go. <laughs> What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Burn Down YouTube channel. We got a mail time video today, so let's jump on into it. And there's something else I want to share with you. So, today's mail time video is courtesy of War Performance. Big shout out to my boys at War Performance, always helping me out. And again, um, their link is in the description to their website, and they have lots of stuff, and I want to kind of go over some of that today, but let's see what they sent. So I have an idea what's in here because it is a missing piece to the resistance to the old motor that's sitting behind you guys right now, staring at me. All right, we have <laughs> war stickers, woo! It's funny, I need to start sticking these on more stuff. I really like these little dogs too. So all the stickers are roached out on my car, so I need to strip those. We need to get all the new sponsors and stuff on there. So thank you very much for the stickers, boys. Again, War Performance, go check them out. And um, this is exactly what I've been missing in my life. Brian Tooley push rods, courtesy of War Performance. So we went with the Johnson lifters and it changes the size of the push rod and I measured, and this is my best educated guess. So awesome, thank you very much War Performance. And then of course they came with some more goodies. So um, I want to go over this with you guys. War Performance does a lot more than just the throttle bodies. So the throttle bodies, when they're staple things, it kind of put them on the map as far as like a small little mom and pop style speed shop. But they do wiring and all kinds of other stuff. So they sent awesome stuff in this box. And this is all stuff they carry. So we've got a 6AN bulkhead. We've got a 6AN Union Black. So these are, these are cool. This is really cool right here. 8 a.m. fuel pressure. Uh, it's a, for a fuel pressure gauge. So I don't know if you can see it, but your fuel pressure sensor or a gauge with thread right in there. So you can just put this right in line and it doesn't hurt nothing. So that is killer. I can actually probably use that. And then an 8 a.m. union. So again, when you're making hard lines and stuff, they obviously know that I make a bunch of hard lines. And I don't know how much AN stuff they were carrying previously, but now that I know that they have AN stuff, I'm definitely gonna start utilizing them. Um, I got a spot local, but you know what? I gotta support my boys. So a 10 AN bulkhead fitting. So that is killer. So this one is pretty cool. This is a problem solver right here. So this is a dash six to three eighths. This would be something that a lot of you guys, so say you had uh, a car that already had hard lines in it, like an older car, like I have the A body. The lines come all the way through the frame and you're like, man, I got to run, you know, a feed and a return. Well, you could just get a fitting like this. You got to measure the size because sometimes they're a five, but this would be a dash six. And this is literally a union. So you just cut it off square, cut off where the fuel, fuel line's coming out. And you could actually put this on there and now you've got an AN, bam. Good to go. You don't have to make a new line and then you just make one line. So you can use that for your return. You always want to use your larger line for your feed. So say it was a dash five, like that's what's stock in my A body. That's fine for a return. And then this, you could run a new feed like a dash six, um, depending on how fast you want to go. And dash six will get you pretty dang far. So this is really cool. So this will go straight to hard line, bada boom, bada bing. Especially existing, that's a good problem solver there. Uh, 8 a.m. bulkhead fitting. So again, this is just a flush bulkhead. So vent tubes, things like that, you can go straight to a bulkhead. Um, fuel. You do your return, fuel return. Oh, and then they got a big mamma jamma. 12 AN bulkhead fitting. So this is a big dog. So this maybe this could be used for an oil drain on your turbo. You know, you just punch a hole in your pan, pop this bad boy in there, and you are good to go. All right, I'll uh, check it out. You gotta spoil me. BR7 EFs. I think they're telling me that I need to run some more boosts because I'm on sixes because I'm really conservative with boost. Um, awesome. So I got a 10 pack of these. The other thing we're going to do too is I've got the Sloppy Mechanic Best Cam camshaft. I know War has some of those. I believe they're 
probably selling them. I don't know, maybe they're sticking them in stuff, but I saw that they had a few of those. Um, Happel's running the seven, and I asked him, but I think Happel shoots for the moon. I'm super conservative with my stuff, but we might have to throw some sevens in there and turn it up a little bit at LS Fest. Let me know what you guys think. And then this one was funny. So, okay, Royal Purple Max Tough Synthetic Assembly Lube. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Give me one second. I'll show you what I was using and then I got yelled at. So they sent me the good stuff. So I'll show this. All right, so every engine I've put together so far, I just bought this, I think like the auto parts store. I don't even know, it's a CRC assembly lube. And uh, the dudes from Ward literally wrote me and they're like, that stuff's trash, throw it away. They're like, you know, we're gonna send you some proper stuff. So thank you guys. Uh, what I'm hoping to use this on is just a refresh before we go to Rocky Mountain Race Week, hopefully next year. And I don't have any further problems, but I have other motors and things to mess with and build and work on. So thank you very much. Uh, this, just so you guys can see, Kobe, look at that. Batting a thousand, baby, right in the trash. So thank you very much, War, but we are not done yet. I want to show you guys this. So they sent me this. Um, I believe when we were on Rockabout Race Week, I was like, man, I have truck spacing. So a lot of you guys are going to have truck spacing on all of your pulley setup. If you're doing like an F-body um, pulley spacing, you can get all the cool accessories that are tight and low and all that fun stuff. But on the truck spacing, everything just hangs way out, right? And um, my alternator is right in front of my fuel rail, like all yours would be if you're on truck spacing. Well, that's kind of an issue for flow, so I can only really route it one way. So that last side where it comes where the alternator back is, I literally have a hard 90, which is terrible for flow, but that's my last injector, and then that turns hard 90 and goes into my regulator. So I figure at least when it turns to kind of back the flow up, um, it's still feeding injectors. So that was my train of thought. But also, if you're making it turn hard 90s everywhere, and it, that thing's pumping through, um, I would imagine that that would kind of help heat the fuel up, especially on an event like Rocky Mountain Race Week you want. The, the smoothest curves you can get because it's about pressure and flow with fuel, especially when you're making power, you need all the fuel you can get, trust me, because you start putting some air to it and it starves. So we talked about it and I'm like, man, with this truck spacing deal, if I could just, just take that alternator and hang it out a little bit, yeah, might not be the prettiest thing, maybe we'll have an alternator off to the side a little bit, but if it moved over just enough to where the fuel could come out, I'd be a happy camper because then I can do a nicer radius bend and I could even route my fuel line however I wanted that way. The reason it is the way it is in my car with my regulator there, if you've seen it, it goes through this side and around and then through this side and then back to the regulator and then back. It's because that alternator is there. So I didn't want to start feeding it that way. I couldn't really why it. I, there wasn't a lot of option, at least in my brain. So they were awesome enough and they also make brackets so of course we got to get it in the hot rod pink that i love so much but i have the bracket here i have the other side down here and then they have spacers and hardware and all the stuff for me to relocate and hang my alternator out in style matching the throttle body if you guys want to know the story behind the pink they actually sent the pink throttle body to matt happel i think is a joke and I was all excited because I had painted a junk motor. I had pink. I was like, oh, I'd totally rock that. So Matt boxed it up and sent it out to me. And then that's how the guys, I believe, from War found me. And then, you know, match made in heaven. We've been pen pals and friends ever since. It took me a while before I actually got to meet him in person, too, which was kind of cool. So they've been helping me for a while. I appreciate it. Oh, look, I've got an idler in here. So, I mean, this, this kit is all hooked up. And this was a, actually a prototype kit. So I think I'm like the only idiot that has this right now. But if it works good and it problem solves for me, I really don't see a problem for them making uh, the same kit for you guys. So give them a big shout out to War Performance and um, they can help you with all your problem solving needs. What's up, my man? Uh-oh, who's that? Kyle Bush. Is he your favorite driver? Uh-huh. Yeah, what did, you, what did you get uh, yesterday? What's yeah. today, Monday? What did you get yesterday at the race? Fourth place. Fourth place, see? Awesome. And then we went to NASCAR two weeks ago, huh? Uh -huh. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Awesome. So, okay. Say, tell everybody to go check out War Performance. Go you gotta, you check gotta come out over here. Warm up. 
Go check out Warm Performance. <laughs> War Performance. War Performance. There you go. Thank you, buddy. All right. So, impromptu cameo from my son. He gave me a belt to test out. I don't know if it's the correct size or not, but heck, we're going to get into that. That is going on the new motor. So, thank you very much, War. Um, they also have Holly stuff. I'm going to go through and get my Holly stuff from those guys when we upgrade to Bigger Boy Parts. They have transmission stuff, so my 4L80E stuff. Um, they have regular extensions. They, I know they, um, what else do they do? There is a ton of stuff, man. I mean, cams, the lube, like I showed you guys, anything performance oriented. Um, they have a cool little warehouse, and then I'm hoping at some point that we can roll the motor home out there, and I'd like to just kind of look around and go to the shop and hang out and uh, just do normal car guy stuff where you just kind of, you sit with your drink and then you kick the tires you tell stories about how cool you really are not but you'd like to be and you lie to your buddies so i'm hoping uh, at some point to get out there and i'll bring you guys along with me so uh the other thing i'd like to show you guys we'll go ahead and spin you around is the motor is basically ready to go it was waiting on the push rods that we got from war so this dog is ready to get mated to this guy so if you watch the videos um i wrapped it up because it's been windy and crappy today but here she is multicolor and all so the first time i built it i painted everything i rattle canned it black because i was really excited about it but um i will say this this sticker it's funny because it's really cool to be able to do something like build a transmission yourself even this go around i put it all together and i step back and i'm like awesome i have no idea if it's going to work properly you know we're hoping third time's the charm or how many times we've done this thing but um you feel good about yourself and you put a sticker like this on there and you're like, this is awesome. And then you go to race week and the thing gets roached out and you're in front of all your peers and you pull it out and then you have this sticker and the thing's like completely munched. It's a little embarrassing. So <laughs> we're changing the sticker for luck and I think we're gonna call this one the, uh, what is it? The, the Pueblo, the Pueblo Power Glide. What's up B? Um, your phone was ringy. Oh, thank you buddy. I'll have to go check it. I appreciate that. So. All right, cameo number two. <laughs> so the, the Pueblo Power Glide, we're gonna change this up. So that's the name of this thing, but this thing uh, should be ready to rock and roll as per this guy. And like I said, I know about this much about things. So um, yeah, motor's ready, that's ready. We gotta move the car over. Uh, we got room for activities. You'll notice I got a frame sitting here that we gotta get to mess with and find a home for. So I'm gonna be doing this. And that is it, man, so today, it was a fun-filled, war-sponsored day. Thank you guys very much. Um, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say with the spark plugs. Is I talked to KP, we were there the other day. I'm going to throw the car because we have the dyno numbers, and I have a video on here with the Summit Stage 2 that was in it. We'll just run it back. Same numbers, same everything, and just see where it lands me because it's the same converter, same transmission. Um, granted, the gears are going to be different, so I don't know if that's going to play a factor, but... We'll run it back and we'll see. We'll see, it should be pretty comparable, but hopefully the chop chop sounds good. And then life is golden. Other than that, I rolled the Winnebago around today. We did some tests and that thing is running aces. And then, uh, oh, I got paint too. Uh, I'm not gonna bother you guys with that, but I got some paint. So we got the base color and all the stuff. And then we're going gold, talk to the wife. Um, I was gonna switch it up and do blue because I think blue was more light fast. But you know what? The original plan was to go gold. If the thing fades, it is what it is. And then I talked to my buddy over Coast Airbrush, and he was like, yeah, amateurs usually spray, they don't spray enough candy. And I was like, well, you know, you're talking to one. So we're gonna put like six or seven coats of gold down. So the things will be thick. And then we're gonna throw the clear over that. Hopefully it holds up. I'll tell you what though, it's gonna look dope come LS Fest. So if you guys are local and you can make it out to LS Fest, please come by, say hi. I'm gonna see if I can get a hold of, uh, maybe make a few shirts just to give away. I'll have stickers. Um, I got some vinyl, so I'm gonna make some vinyl decals and burn down stuff, um, cause that's kind of cheap and easy. And that's it, we're gonna have swag and I'll be out there, hopefully racing the boom, uh, popping and banging with the bagel in the pits. If they'll let me make a pass, I gotta see if I can pull some strings when we get there and talk to my buddy, and uh, we'll see how we go. So that is it, thank you guys for watching. And now uh, we're gonna keep cranking out the content. I hope you guys enjoy, Till next time, like, subscribe, share, I'm out.